Hello, welcome to the Alkaline Fluid Exploration Series. My name is Doshinko. I'm an alkaline electric herbalist here in Atlanta, Georgia. And through each episode, I'm going to pick an alkaline electric food and explain it, its benefits, and how to cook it. Um, I am very, very happy to present to you today one of my cousins. She is one of the daughters of Dr. Sebi, who is continuing uh, the work that my uncle started years ago. Usha Bowman. Usha, go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Usha Bowman. I am founder of Usha's Corner, powered by the fig tree. And what we do at Usha's Corner is we are doing a continuation of what my father did for all these years. I've been a counselor for him since I was 11. So I continued on my business. I wanted my own identification. So I created Usha's Corner so I could have my own stuff. So, uh, what, what food are we doing today, Usha? We're doing mushrooms. Yes, mushrooms. Yes, so in order to prevent uh, taking synthetic materials to have your uh, daily requirement of vitamin D, you can start adding mushrooms into your diet. Mushrooms also help with brain and nerve support. A lot of studies are now coming out showing that people who eat a high number of mushrooms actually are, uh, are less susceptible to developing Alzheimer's disease. Um, the other thing is mushrooms have protein, alkaline protein. Like we always tell people, um, you don't need necessarily to eat animal products in order to get your protein intake. And mushrooms is a good way of getting your protein in, right? The other thing, mushrooms are very high in potassium and potassium also helps to lower blood pressure. It also supports the heart and also the bones. Next thing, mushrooms have selenium. Selenium is also good for the heart the immune system, your thyroid, and it helps with asthma. Um, and that's pretty much it. So we're going to go and cook some mushrooms. So today for this episode, what we're going to be cooking is um, mushroom salteado. It's going to be mushrooms that is based in a very flavorful sauce. And the second thing is alkaline bohemian vegan conch salad, which we're going to uh, replace the conch with mushrooms. Trust me, it's going to taste just the same. You ready? Let's go. Okay, so now we're about to cook the mushroom saltado. So the seasonings that we're gonna be using is first, olive oil. The next one is... Italian seasonings. Italian seasonings. We're also gonna use a little cayenne pepper. And here we have a wonderful sea salt. Okay. And then we have green peppers. What else we got? We got mushrooms. Port, we're using portobellos this time. Mm -hmm. Not that you can use any other type of mushroom you want. And we're using onions. So this is something simple, quick that you can do with mushrooms. All right, so we're gonna cut these uh, onions up. When we're cutting up the onions, we want them to be kind of long facing. I always like to take away the first layer of onions. Just my thing. So we're gonna do that in shreds. Now we're gonna get the green peppers. For this, you probably want one or two, depending on your taste. Okay? All right, now we're gonna cut the mushrooms. If you can just cut them in small little slices. That I see. Small slices? Yeah. Or long slices? Like, like that, but a little thinner. All right, Usha, if you can put the um, uh, iron on. Ahora si le puede echar aceite. Echala un poco más. Yeah, a little bit more. All right, you want enough in there to cover the whole pan. Echala un poco sal, un poco. This is the sea salt that we're adding in. Okay. Then be heavy with the Italian seasoning. Nope. Nope. You want to go heavy? Yes. 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 Heavy. Heavy. Let's go. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. 
I like to use a lot of spices in my food because the more spices, you, well, certain spices, the more of certain spices you use, the more it enters into your, your cuisine. So I'm heavy with certain seasonings because I really want it to infuse into my food. So that's why we're being a bit heavy. And now what we're going to do is actually let the herb sit in this oil while it's heated so that way it can infuse itself into oil and also have more flavor. And if you can add that, just a chin. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that you add a little. Huh? Yes, yes. And if you can just stir it together for me. That one should be adding a lot. Oh. Oh my God, Puerto Ricans like their food head and food hot. Actually, Puerto Ricans don't like their food hot. No, is that just you? Yeah, uh -oh. that's you. Yeah, because in Cuba, food. they don't eat some hot food. No, in Puerto Rico, they don't, like, they don't like spicy food. It's me growing up with dad coming from Honduras that he loved spicy foods. Oh. And so from the time I was a baby, all I ate was pepper. Oh, yeah. okay. We love that. Yeah, in my house, we don't really use a lot of pepper. Are we putting all of this? Yeah, we're going to put, um, just grab a, a handful and, and put it in there. All right, so now we're going to add the green peppers in. Win. That's actually that's good enough. Yeah, yeah. Now you want to stir that all together. And you know what? To expedite time, let's put the the, the temperature on high until we, we can go ahead and get it started. So this is the base for our Santiago. Um, we're gonna wait until everything heats up and the onions turn. Uh, golden brown. It's when it's golden brown, that's when you know it's ready. No, they turn golden brown. See, that's why you're doing this with me. <laughs> All right, so, so when, when I, I do, do this, this kind of sauce, sauce, I will let it simmer. Uh, once it, I get it to the heat that I want and it's like really sizzling, I'll uh, lower it and let it sit for maybe about five, 10 minutes. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wait until it gets really, really heated up. And then I'm gonna turn the, the uh, stove down and just let it saute for about five, 10 minutes. So that way it can really absorb all the flavor of the food. And then also too, while you're doing this stage, a lot of the oil is actually going to, to fry off. Okay, so now you see how it's golden brown. This lets you know that a lot of the flavor has been absorbed and we're ready to add our mushrooms in. All right. Um, the reason why I put a lot in there is because we're going to uh, put a lot of mushrooms in and we need to make sure that it's very well coated. Um, I'm also going to turn the heat up a little bit, but because I'm introducing these in now, I am going to heat it up a bit. You can just smell the aroma of the herbs and spices coming together. Okay, and now we're gonna put the, and so I'm gonna turn it on low heat and then I'm probably gonna leave it there for about 10, 15 minutes. The, the herbs are going to be infused into the mushrooms, so that's a lot why I, I cover a lot of my food. All right, so the only thing we need to do is just sit, let nature take its process. So, so are the onions. Well, they're only brown because of the mushroom. No, no, if you saute mushrooms long enough, they can get brown. You mean onions? Huh? You mean onions? Yes, sorry. So it's been about 10, 15 minutes, we covered it, and now it's done. Okay, so now that it's done, we can go ahead and serve this up. Now, um, this is like, you could be considered a main dish. So like for on the side, you can put some quinoa, you can put some green beans, you can put some other sauteed vegetables, but we didn't do any of those today. So we're just going to have this for dinner. Here you go. Go ahead, try it. Ooh, it's 
hot. Mm -hmm. How does it taste? Mm. Very good. Very flavorful. It did soak up by putting the top on there. It did soak up the flavors and it Ooh. is quite delicious. Mm -hmm. See, alkaline vegan food does not have to be boring. Not at all.